Hi again everyone, it's Pastor John from Napanee Baptist Church here in Southern Ontario and it's Monday, January the 18th. It's good to be with you again. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, we're doing a little study now back in the Old Testament. We do a week in the New Testament in the book of John and now we're going back to the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament. So if you can turn in your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, and we'll just do a little Bible reading and some commentary, and then we'll pray and send you on your way. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're, I hope and pray that you're trusting the Lord and staying true to Him and keeping your eyes on Jesus. So let's take a look at Proverbs chapter 3, starting with verse 19 to the end of the chapter. Proverbs 3, 19. It says, By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge the watery depths were divided, and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Verse 23, then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked, for the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Verse 27, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, Come back tomorrow, and I'll give it to you, when you already have it with you. Verse 29, Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. Do not envy the violent, or choose any of their ways, for the Lord detests the perverse, but takes the upright into his confidence. Verse 33, The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. Verse 35, The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. Well, the section here that I would like to take a look at, just a few verses here, it is talking about wisdom again, that godly wisdom, wisdom from God, is so much better than the wisdom of the wicked or the wisdom of this world. And he describes it in verse 22. Uh, he says, they will be life for you, meaning wisdom and understanding will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. And then he talks about the results, the results of having wisdom and understanding from God and knowing God's will and wanting to please Him and obey Him. Then in verse 23 he says, Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. And I like this next verse because it really applies to what we're going through uh, during this pandemic. Verse 24 says, When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Now, I hope that you're not losing sleep over this crisis that we're going through. Because if you have God's wisdom and his understanding and you're in his word and you're trusting him and you're praying to him, he will give you peace. He will give you his rest and his calm, even at a time like this. And then verse 25 says, have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. So we're not supposed to fear sudden disaster like a global pandemic coming, uh, coming on us without us being prepared for it. And so whatever the disaster, we are not to be afraid, but we are to take courage. Why? Because in verse 26, it says, For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. The Lord will be at your side. If we are 
walking in His way, and we have His wisdom and His insight, His understanding, and we are trusting Him, then He's going to be there for us. He's going to be at our side. He's going to comfort us and walk beside us, and we will have His presence with us, and He will keep us from falling. He will keep our feet from being snared. Well, just want to leave that encouragement with you, and I, I hope you're continuing to trust Him. And again, I just want to mention that I am at the church from Tuesday to Saturday, usually, uh, and please, if you would like to talk or like to visit or you would like prayer, please give me a call, and either at home or at the office. I want to be available, and uh, God is with us, and God wants us to depend on Him, but He also wants us to support each other and encourage each other. So God bless you. Have a great day today, this Monday, and then this new week. I know we're in this lockdown and this uh, emergency situation in southern Ontario, but we know that our God will deliver us. Our God will show us the way. So keep trusting and keep looking to Him. Let's just pray together and commit our day to the Lord. Let's pray. Father in heaven, again, I thank you for each person who's tuned in this morning. Bless each one, uh, and I pray that you will continue to lead and direct us. And we know that when we are trusting you and when we are in your word and we have your wisdom and understanding, then we don't have to be afraid, that you will keep us safe, that you will be at our side. So I just want to pray for each person who's watching, meet each need, encourage each heart, and help us to make it through this situation rejoicing and knowing that you are the one who has everything in control. You are the sovereign Lord, and we can trust you. And your ways are so much higher than our ways and so much better. So, Lord, we just want to commit ourselves to you now. Thank you for the God that you are. We thank you for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you for all that he's done for us. And we pray in his precious name. Amen and amen. God bless. Take care. And we'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.